We're excited because there's a single scientific effort and expertise we have here in microfluidics, which now we're finding has great commercial potential from anywhere from consumer electronics to medicine to additional applications we probably haven't even thought of yet. Now the big project I'll talk about, and this will relate a little bit to the entrepreneurship activities we have coming out of the University of Cincinnati, is related to electronic paper. Um, electronic paper is uh, basically similar to the technology used in the Amazon Kindle. They have little buckets of a fluid, and in that fluid there is a white pigment and a black pigment. And if they're totally mixed, you'll see a gray color. So what we developed is an altogether different approach. Instead of moving particles inside pigment, we um, actually move a, um, the fluid itself. And this is in partnership with Sun Chemical here in Cincinnati. They make the pigment dispersions or the inks that go in inkjet printers, paint, etc. And they have world-class expertise in that. And what we've done in collaboration with them is develop a sort of an inkjet fluid, which we can move the whole fluid with electricity and what we do with our technology is we'll make tiny little buckets at each pixel in an e-paper display and we'll put different colored inkjet fluids in each bucket. And when we apply a voltage, we will actually pull the entire fluid out of that bucket and spread it out onto a reflective surface. So it's almost like spreading pigment out onto paper and that's how we create color and print today. We started this work in, in 2007, and we started a startup company in 2009, uh, Gamma Dynamics, uh, which is now commercializing the technology. And they're developing it for anything from electronic shelf labels in grocery stores to color e-readers to signage, um, even transparent displays. Um, and this ties in nicely because just this past year, we were awarded a Ohio Third Frontier grant to create the Ohio Center for Microfluidic Innovation. For example, Chang'an has a commercialization project where they do fluidic type structures on a microscopic scale. They don't use electricity to, to push the fluids along. They use something more like hydraulic pressure, so kind of turn the hose on and the fluid flows through, and that's for medical applications. Well, here you have this new microfluidic center helping commercialize technology not only for medical applications like Chang'an's doing, but now you have it extending into consumer electronics, which we're focusing on. We're really excited that Cincinnati is in this race for the future of electronic paper, which is a global race, which involves companies as big as Samsung, LG, et cetera. So we're in a, it's, you know, this is a tens of billions dollar market, and we love just trying to compete in that market. Maybe we'll be successful, but just being able to, to stand up amongst, with everybody else and be a competitor, that's one of the things that drives us. Thank you.